Hello guys, hello guys, welcome back. Well, until now, every time we want to print something on the screen, we hard code the things we want to print. Like for example, I am happy. Then we go and we control S to save. Always remember. Then we hit run and we have I am happy as the output. But usually in real world applications, things don't really work like that. For these, we use variables. And what is a variable? A variable uh, is a container. Yeah, that's a simple way for you to understand a variable. Imagine a container, imagine a glass. Inside of a glass, you can put water, you can put juice, wine, whatever you drink. So, <clears throat> a variable is a name that can hold things, can hold stuff. Let me give you an example. I think you will understand that better. Let's write var. If you want to write a variable, or if you want to declare a variable, you will start by writing var. Stands for variable, right? Then let's suppose name is equal to, if you want to write a name, you'll do it mark Santos for example then semicolon to close inside of these instead of writing I am happy I can write what name you see how this is easy because you didn't save, you'll see this and this thing. You hit Control S or Command S to save and you run it. Ta -da! You see what's happening? Instead of writing Santos here, we are writing Santos here and assigning this value of Santos to this variable which is a container in our case we can also do this um, var then what 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 can we write okay second name s name stands for second name equals let's put my second name again And if you do this, for example, and you come in here, you give space, it's going to give, it's not working. Why? This cannot work exactly like this. If you want to do that, okay, we have two options. You can do it like this. Name, you can come here and write again, uh, print, S name, then semicolon to close. Control S, then you can hit run. And you'll have Santos and Ock. But okay, you don't want to do this. You want to do the first thing. If you want to do the first thing, uh, the working will be kind of different. You will write again. Print, quotation mark. Then you have to do dollar sign you write name for example space dollar sign again s name and this symbol this dollar sign means we are about to use a variable is just saying about to use a variable or something from outside of this and see the magic now if you do it like this and you hit run are going to have what santosh and hawk and it's done uh, 
You can try so many things. You don't save only names. You can write var age, for example. And I can write here equals seven. That's another point. If you're dealing with numbers, you don't write things inside of quotation marks. You only write inside of quotation marks if you're dealing with strings. Sorry for the noise. If you're dealing with strings like names, address, and this kind of things. But if you're dealing with numbers, you only write the number. Okay? Control S to save. Now let's come inside of here and write what? Dollar sign, not a four, dollar sign age to show that we are using a variable from outside and see the magic you can even put something like this my age is okay then you hit control s and run santo zenoke my age is seven you see what you can do with variables so instead of writing let's suppose we want to change the name of the person to mario for example mario you see you hit run you have mario enoch my age is seven so let's copy this let's hit enter enter you see what's the beauty of variables smith age is 75 for example we don't need to come we don't need to change nothing here we only have to change the value of the variable Control s and we hit run and we have mario smith my age is 75 my age is 75 my age is 75 so this one was a brief introduction to variables and i hope you did understand these because you're going to use variables everywhere again thank you for your time see you on the next one